This video is for Nova Online Math 245. We're looking at module 3 homework, question number 41. I'll show you how to do this question using two different technology. All right, a test consists of 10 true or false questions. Um, to pass the test, a student must answer at least eight questions correctly. If the student guesses on each question, what is the probability that the student will pass the test? All right, um, let me write down some of these things that I just read. So first, this test has 10 true or false questions. And what's happening is we have no idea what any of these is asking. So if we are completely guessing on each question, like, are we going to pass this test? So let me write these down. I'm going to say n equals 10 because there are 10 trials for us. We're going to guess on 10 different questions. And what is the probability that I will get each question or, you know, one of those questions right? Um, if I have no idea what the true and what the correct answer is, and if I'm just guessing from two possible answer choices, do you agree that I have 50% chance of getting it right, right? So the probability of success is 50% or 0.5. Now, I want to get at least eight questions correct. So what we want to find is the probability that x is greater than or equal to eight, because if I need to get at least eight questions correct to pass it, I need to get eight, nine, or 10 correct answers, right? Now, this is extremely easy if you are doing this for your homework or your quiz um, because you are allowed to use stack crunch, right? But I may also show you how to, how to do this on TI-84 because that's what's allowed for your final exam. So let me open up stack crunch real quick because it's much easier to do this on stack crunch. All right, so I'm just going to do a binomial calculator okay well this is a binomial situation because look at the outcome you either get the right answer or you don't get the right answer right so that's success or failure we have fixed number of trials and that success rate remains the same because we have no idea what each of these answers are going to be so we're just always guessing so there's 50 percent uh, chance of success remains the same so this is a binomial situation so on your stat crunch open up stat calculator and find binomial calculator, stat calculator, and where is binomial? Right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter all those that we just typed in. Okay, all right, hold on, let me see if I can show you two screens at a time. All right, that's good. So n is 10, number of trial is 10, probability of success is 0.5, those are default, okay. And now what I want is I want the probability that I get more than or equal to eight questions right and computer da that's the answer that's how you can answer this question <laughs> look they shaded area to the right of it right including um eight nine and ten now what's bad about binomial cdf function on your ti84 calculator is that they never find the area to the left of it they find the area to the left of it uh, they they find the area. They never find the area to the right of it. They find the area to the left of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the right answer first, because if you are doing this on your homework, TI a stack crunch is the fastest way to do this, right? But if you're wondering how do I do this on TI eighty four, the thing is they will not find this red area because this is the area to the right of that point. So what TI-84 will do is they will find the probability of getting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 questions right, okay? These black uh, bars, okay? Because that's to the left of 8. So what we're going to have to do is just find the area to the left of 8, which is less than or equal to 7, right? Because first number smaller than 8 is 7. So the probability of getting zero question right, one question right, two questions right, all the way up to seven question right. And then what we're going to have to do, one minus that probability. And that's how we can get that same answer if you are using TI-84. And I'm only going over this right now because um, in case 
you guys need to um, do this practice this on for your final exam so what you're gonna have to do is click on second vars okay so click on second vars on your ti-84 okay but if you are just if you are just you know trying to do your homework you're done you don't have to watch anymore but if you are preparing for your exam 30 second vars and go all the way down to b that says binomial cdf i always use t uh stat crunch when i'm just teaching or uh, doing homework for my other stat classes so i haven't used this i only use ti 84 for nova online map 245 so down there so i have to practice this a little bit all right enter it and what they're going to ask you is they're going to give you the screen okay now when you guys open this you probably have all empty like everything is probably empty i'll match that for you okay so you're probably going to see that screen now if you don't have that showing up and um, just binomial CDF opening. That just means that your stat wizard function in TI-84 is turned off, okay? Maybe you don't have TI uh, stat wizard if your operating system is um, outdated. So if you bought your TI-84 recently, your update, you know, operating system is probably all the way updated, so you will see the same screen. But if you need to know how to update your OS, so that you can use stat wizard you know that i can probably record another video showing you how to do that but all right if you have that screen type in 10 for the trials type in 0.5 for probability of success type in now that's the tricky part that's the tricky part because if you type in 8 there what they will do is they will find the area uh, find the probability of getting 8 or less questions right and that's not what we want now like I told you binomial calculator if I put 8 there they're gonna find 0 1 2 3 4 all the way up to 8 so type in 7 because what we're trying to do is find the probability of these black bars added up together and we're just gonna do 1 minus that number to find the area to the right of it okay so type in 7 if you're wondering why seven it's because it's because the complement of x is greater than or equal to eight the opposite of that okay is um x is less than eight right uh but when you're taking a true or false question can you get 7.9 questions right? Can you get 7.7 .7 questions right? No, you have to just, you, there's, we're not allowed to use decimals when you are, there's no like decimal answers, number of answers, right? So um, the smallest number integer that is smaller than eight. So find x is less than or equal to seven and do one minus probability of I'm sorry if I'm being a little wordy this morning one minus probability of x is less than or equal to seven okay see that's why I say that crunch option is easier because you know they will just do the area to the right of it by changing the symbol but if you're using ti 84 you have to do it this way now we're about to see the probability of failing this test the probability of failing this test if you are guessing on every question is 95 percent okay so what's the probability of passing this test if you are guessing every single one of these questions so all you have to do is just type in one minus the probability of failing and probability of passing comes out to be about 0 0.0546 so if you round that up, you will get the same answer that we got from doing it on stack crunch. So in this video, I ended up kind of becoming like 10 minute video. I showed you two different methods of finding the answer for question number 40 on your module three homework. Um, 
I think the calculator option is a little bit more difficult, but remember that's what you are allowed to use on your final exam. So I want you to practice this week and next week and you know before your final and just ask me if you have more questions on how to use TI-84 to answer these probability questions, okay?